hello 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 yes i'm doing this to ginger myself because this is a sad one and i refuse to be sad yes i have the right to my emotions abi so i refuse to be sad on this note and that's why i'm making this video why die under the knife just to please the other gender he did not do it for us that's the truth i'm not here to judge the dead though no 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 don't get me wrong i'm not here to judge the dead at all of course we already we've already heard the news is out there but i know that even as this news is flying there are so many other people who are packing their bag saving their hard-earned money and planning on a trip to get bbl Brazilian boots lift. And I ask again, who you want lift the boots for? Those guys, they like it natural and they, when, they know when it is natural. They will just make you a plaything. Like you see them trooping in the recess after doing it. But you know why they are trooping? They really want to know if it tastes differently. I have to be raw. I have to tell you the truth. They are not coming for love because they already know this one is fake. How can they even parade you when they know that the whole thing is fake? They will know. Real men love it natural. They like it natural. Ask any man around you. That's notwithstanding. May I even ask you, why would you go and die under the knife when we have alternatives? Because I know naturally our life as women, we live artificial life. Starting from our hair to the toe is artificial. But he has, he's just like telling me to go and undergo a surgery that will make my hair actually look like this. Like this, like this is a typical example. Is that not madness? So if something like that comes out tomorrow, you see people that will still go and take the injection or do all kind of plastic surgery so that their hair will actually start growing like this. And when this one is not invoked again, what will happen? You will go again and look for the one that is invoked. Why? How long are you going to alter your system and your nature just to suit the society? How long? How long are you going to put your life on the risk? On the line just because you want to live for the society? I see it as something that is not normal, something that we need to shout about, something that we need to warn people against. There's need for us to talk about this. Many have died. Many have, are living on regrets. Now, maybe many has so many kind of complications from this same BBL. And still people are still doing it. And I keep asking why. There are so many options, just like I was saying earlier. You can use, you can pad yourself up. There are so many, go online, go on the Instagram. You will see most of these people that you're looking at, that is making you to go under the knife. Most of them, their own is not like surgery. Let me borrow you people sense more. If that is what you need. Let me just tell you, let me tell you the truth. Their own is not surgery. Some of them wear it. And when they go out and come back, they remove it and rest. I don't know if you guys have seen the other one, the South African lady that used to be internet sensation, Instagram queen, flaunting it. At a point, she said she was having some complications. So you have, she had to go and reconstruct, a bit deconstruct. Hey, <laughs> it is well with us, okay? My gender, we are, we, we are wonderfully and fearfully made. Please, upcoming artists, upcoming celebrities, that is not the only thing that makes you a celebrity. We have so many celebrities with flat boots. We have so many celebrities that doesn't have all those curvy body. And they are making names for themselves. They are even cashing out. That's not the only criteria for you to cash out, please. Don't go and die under the knife. It's not worth it at the end of the day. Especially when there are other alternatives. Temporary alternatives like wearing your heel, wearing your wig, and go and come back eh, and be alive for yourself. Be alive for yourself and your people. Instead of wasting it under the knife, 
over your hard earned money. This thing is not like small money. If you hear the amount they are using for these things, you will even pity for these people more. If you hear the amount, like there's one celebrity I watched that the baby was sitting on her boots and she was like, look at this small baby, doesn't know you're sitting on 5 million boots. Like she was even bragging of doing that. How did we even get to this point? I'm sorry for the dead. That's the only thing I can say. But for the living, may we learn from this. And until next time, I remain checks. And see you in my next one. Bye.